Oh. <laughs> I'm Bob Schrupp, physical therapist. Brad Haney, physical therapist. Together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. Oh, in our opinion, of course, Brad. Right, today we're going to talk about top three exercises to help stop that pain between your shoulder blades. Mm. Right now, back there. Have you ever had it? Oh yeah, mm -hmm. okay. I have had it, Bob. And I do much better with it now being a therapist than prior to right. that. Because you, you can actually stop it before it starts. I had my first episode when I was in PT school. That's physical therapy school. <laughs> and what happened, I mean, it really caught me off guard. I was studying like this a lot. And I remember getting this sharp pain between the shoulders. Yeah. What the heck is that? Yeah. It was really sharp, sharp, I'm sorry, sharp stabbing is what I was trying to say. Sharp stabbing pain. Yeah, we should get that speech therapist. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So I, you have to watch that. Uh, you're going to want to watch your posture. And this first exercise really is actually to try to help correct that forward head or leaning down yeah. posture. So, so we're talking about that pain right here between the shoulder blades. Oh, yeah. 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 It usually feels like you got to crack something and it would come and go away. Right. That's what I would, it, And just, one of these exercises will show you is somewhat kind of crack, cracking it. Not crack. <laughs> yeah. we got to get that speech therapist going. <laughs> go ahead, show the first one, bro. All right. <laughs> Chin tucks and neck extension. Right, so with this, it's important you start out with good posture. So scoot your bottom back in the chair, sit up nice yeah. and tall, shoulders back. I'll do it this way. Okay, we'll just face each yeah. other. Chin tuck. So chin tuck goes in like this, not not in and down, but in and yeah. back, like to put a pie into your face. Yep. Yeah. And you kind of feel a little stretch back here. You may. Now this is go. one I would do. A bunch of times a day but you can do this one kind of as a self corrector as you're working on something let's sure. say you're at the computer and you're going like this and like oh yeah Bob and Brad said to do some of these <laughs> and so, if you listen to us it'll work right so then if you want to take it a little further yes. because a lot of times you're bending down like this yeah. what's the next step well right? then you're going to go into the full extension go back in here lean back into your chair and go back like this yeah and then come back. Don't hang out back there real long. Just a second or two is usually all you need. And it should feel good. If you get yeah. any sharp pain with that, don't force it. Right. Don't force it or don't go all the way back if it does hurt. If right. it, just go as far as it'll let you go. Now, this is kind of the opposite of what you've been doing, isn't it? And what we have found is generally by doing the opposite, it, it actually takes the pain away. Right. So, exactly. And believe it or not, even though that we're working on the neck, a lot of times the pain is coming from the neck going down into the shoulder blades. You bet. Between the shoulder blades. Okay, that's number one. Number two. Ah, Brad. We're going to do, we might as well just keep doing this facing each other. Sure. You got both of us, Matt? Yeah. Yeah. My son's filming today. Yeah. yeah. Good job, Matt. Okay. All right. The second one we're going to do is what we call the hallelujah stretch. And you okay. need to find a chair, Brad, that's kind of like this one. Kind of a hard back, solid mm -hmm. back. It's going to hit you a little bit below the shoulder blades. Sure. Okay. A little bit below. What else are they called? Scapula. Scapula. <laughs> yeah, the big thing is you don't want a tall chair that comes up to right. the That will not work. So you get your butt all the way back again, and what you're going to do is, you're, and this is the one where you might get a little cracking of the back, you're going to actually bring your arms up, and you're going to just go back and hallelujah, and you stretch oh, it. Oh, yeah. Now you can also go, go and put your hands like this and stretch back, mm -hmm. like this. Now this is the one where, again, Quite often you're going to feel crack, 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 and it gets, it's getting right up into the, the vertebrae of what, what is going between the shoulder blades. You bet. So, again, I, you know, the first one, I, you know, the chin tucks, mm. I'd say a good 10. Of these, you could probably get by with doing maybe five of them. Sure. Yeah. Probably a good five. Yeah. And it's one you can do throughout the day also. Great. Good yeah. stretch. All right, the last one is what we're going to do. You can do this two ways. You can do cat and camel. You can do it kneeling on a bed, uh, floor or kneeling on a bed. Do you want to do that part? Yeah, first? I'll do the cat and camel. All right. So here like this, and the first thing is you're going to you come round up. That's that's a camel, right, Bob? I think so. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> and actually the cat, the part where you're going to arch, is really the bread and butter of it. I think they both, you know, they're both working this area, yeah. getting mobility in here. Uh, okay. And when you come down, Really squeeze the shoulder blades together. I'm squeezing, Bob. I'm okay, squeezing. good. And come back up again. Now squeeze the shoulder blades together. Oh, yeah. Now, uh, if you don't have, you know, if, if this is one you don't want to do at work, and you probably don't, maybe one that's a little less invasive. Can you follow me over here, Matt? Is a little less problematic to do is just put your hands against the wall, and you're going to go in, and now I'm squeezing my shoulder blades together. Yeah. And now I'm going into the rounded out. 
squeeze, squeeze it in, arch the back a little bit. I actually just felt it crack there. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And you know what, as kind of a bonus, Brad, if, if uh, the other one that you can do throughout the day is just do what we call the shoulder shrugs, where you bring the shoulders up and squeeze them back yeah, like that. Yeah, sure. Up, squeeze back. We always give a bonus, don't we, Brad? Oh, yeah, we're full of bonuses. Uh, squeeze back. Yeah. Yeah, this uh, is all the stuff that, back. you know, you're working at a computer, you're studying, working over a desk. Uh, it's key is posture, isn't it, Brad? Yeah, These things are all helping you improve your posture. So if you haven't already subscribed to us, make sure you do. We're going to help you help you stay healthy and fit, and we're going to get a speech pathologist that's going to help me speak today. <laughs> so, all right. Well, be careful and teach your kids good posture when you're three years old or younger. All right. Thanks.